Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age the Veilguard. So, last time in Dragon Age, we created our character, we created Rook. This is her, this is what we came up with. I'm currently in photo mode, I love the photo mode. I've been playing around with it a little bit, and not too much, I haven't left this room yet, but I've been playing around with the settings a little bit, photo mode, photo editor, and uh, yeah, this is the character that we created last time uh, during our character creation video and we played through the intro of dragon age inquisition we stopped solus from opening up the veil from tearing down the veil but in the process we released a couple of ancient elven gods and solus got trapped in the process as well also varic who is over there in bed got hurt so he is part of the game but he won't be a companion. And then we also have, on this side, we have Scout Harding. Harding also got hurt, but she's up and around and walking. So that is where we left off last time. And yeah, I'm, so far I'm really enjoying the game. <clears throat> uh, I split the last episode, or first episode, I split it up into two. So that we had a character creation video and a first uh, intro video. So opening scene video. Uh, going forward, uh, I'm thinking about making videos that are about an hour to two hours long, depending on where the story takes us in such a video. Maybe there will be shorter videos, maybe there will be longer videos. Uh, I will try to find a natural break in the game to stop and start videos. Also, um, I'm not quite sure how fast this series is going to come out. Obviously, I've been away from YouTube for a while. It took me a while uh, to get back into things. Life happens in the meantime. I still plan on finishing some of the older series that I never finished, like Planet Coaster. But uh, we also have Life is Strange, which I'm currently playing, which came out the day before yesterday. Yesterday, Dragon Age Inquisition came out. Next week, Planet Coaster 2 is going to come out, which I'm also going to play a lot. So... I'm not quite sure how much uh, we are going to be playing uh, or how many episodes will be uh, released and in what time frame. I will finish this game, I promise you that. For now, I think, I'm thinking maybe one or two episodes a week. I took a couple of days off work so I can at least record a whole bunch of videos of Dragon Age and Life is Strange and next week uh, Planet Coaster. So... I should be able to record at least four or five videos this week. I'm not quite sure how the editing is going to work out. But uh, yeah, for now, I think we'll do a video a week, maybe two a week. And then going forward, it will probably be one video per week. Maybe once every two weeks, depending on how much I am going to, I'm going to play Planet Coaster. I hope to finish Life is Strange this week, so that won't be an issue anymore. I already recorded the first three episodes so yeah there's only two episodes left to record for that but today at least i'm going to be playing dragon age the entire day so i should be able to record at least two or three episodes so yeah with that out of the way why don't we get started and uh, let's see what we're up to we are in the infirmary of the lighthouse we have the Mirror of Transformation right here from the start, which is nice. Uh, we can't talk to Harding. We tried talking to Varric, but he's like, I wish I could be with you, but I can't. We can change our appearance here. I haven't found an inventory or a skill tree or something like that yet. So hopefully we'll find that in this episode as well. But for now, we need to explore the lighthouse and check in with Nave. So, let's go do that. And I also have not found a, a search action. But I'm not sure if we're going to need it. Hmm. Cool, cool. The library. Floating bookshelves, why not? Introduction to the lighthouse. Okay, like I said, 
we're only going to read uh, codex entries that are applicable to the current story. We're not going to be reading a whole lot of the background codex entries. Most of it is just flavor text and lore. Um, but if it's important to the story, we'll definitely read the codex entries and the introduction to the lighthouse seems like it's pretty important to the story. So let's see. Introduction to the lighthouse. Once the lighthouse was a place of learning with tools to study the secret workings of great magic. When Solus rebelled against those who called themselves our gods, the lighthouse became his center of operations with tools to study the best ways to free ourselves from the tyranny of the Avenurus. You are safe here, both those of flesh and those of faith. Any who wish to help are welcome. The magic of the lighthouse will provide for your needs, see to your comfort, and even help you understand different tongues for those who escaped here from distant parts of the Empire. Should you have any other needs, ask for the slow arrow and I will help. Pelassan. Pelassan? Ask for the slow arrow and I will help. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything new on the map? We are at level 2 currently. Okay, there are multiple levels. Cool. Uh, we need to go to Nave, which is over here. We have a journal. Okay, the story so far. Uh, we read that first, Alinea. And the team succeeded, but at a price, trapped in the fate after they sabotaged this ritual. Solus delivered a dire warning from the dream world. The ancient elven gods Elgernon and Gilanane had escaped the prison where he had held them. Although nothing the Dreadwolf said could be trusted, the team had no choice but to investigate. Cool. Shadows of ancient Arlathan. After stopping Solus's ritual, the team must investigate his claim that ancient blighted gods had been released into the world. The team stopped Solus from tearing down the veil, trapping him in the fate. However, Solus insists that sabotaging his ritual unleashed male malevolent elven gods named Elgernon and Gilanane. Though wary, the team can't afford to ignore his warning. They must hunt for signs that dangerous gods stalk the land. Right? And, uh, okay, we've completed, completed the end of the beginning. Right? Cool, cool, cool. And that's where we came from. This is closed off. I'm guessing this opens up at later stages. Just like Skyhold got bigger and bigger. Although Skyhold never got really completed. Ooh, a little bit of stuttering there. I noticed that a couple times already. I haven't checked my settings yet. I'm still playing everything on Ultra. Should be able to play out everything on Ultra. At least according to the specs. Oh wow. This is the Alluvian room. We have something else to collect. The Dreadwolf's Alluvian. Okay. Uh, most of us have only traveled through the Alluvians at the whims of those who called themselves our gods. We know them as mirrors that always go from one to another, a bonded pair linked no matter the distance. Solus has outsmarted the so-called gods. If we used normal Alluvians, they could track us to our lair. Solus has improved upon June's work by creating a mirror whose singing stone can change its tune to take us to any Alluvian and not just its bonded partner. Thus, we can travel wherever this rebellion needs us with no fear of pursuit. Travel is as safe as a normal Alluvian. If you have questions, ask for the slow arrow and I will guide you. Fedasan. Right, so Luvians only went to one place in the past. That makes sense, though, because you can't choose where you're going once you walk once you walk through an Luvian, right? You just go from one place to another. It's not like you could you can dial up something, but apparently Solus invented, Solus improved upon June's work by creating a mirror whose singing stone can change its tune. That is actually. Pretty good. That's a nice card. Right? Uh, I don't think we need to go anywhere right now. I don't think we can go anywhere right now.
indeed. Hey, Nave. Look who's with us. We're... We're really in the fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. How come we've it's never seen the lighthouse? And you look good without Morning that stupid hat. Talk about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first. Yeah, yeah, let us exp let's explore. Gather the team at the library table. Optional talk to Neve. Ooh, press to open the skills tree. Yeah, there we are. All right, so we have three points available. Warrior core. The greatest warriors balance their offensive prowess with a sturdy defense. Uh, weapon swap. Tap uh, bottom arrow to toggle between your two weapon configurations. Charged attack. Hold. X, Y, or RT. Oh, we can hold X, Y, and... Okay, cool. I've only been holding RT so far. Uh, tap L while moving, and then tap X, Y, or RT for a sprint attack. Jump attack while airborne. Tap X, Y, or RT. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah. Defend, hold LB while wielding your shield, or tap LB at the right time when wielding a two-handed weapon. Okay, so we need to tap it with the two-handed thing. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I tapped it by accident. Uh, okay, cool. Details. Charged attack, a powerful attack that deals additional damage and interrupts enemy action. Cool. And then we have... What's this? Counter blow. X or Y after a perfect defense. Deflect your enemy's attack and perform a powerful counterattack. Alright, we can acquire this. Greater passive, downfall, X, Y while airborne. Jump attacks guarantee critical hits if the target is knocked down. We can't acquire that one. Tumbling blades, use your speed to unleash a powerful attack immediately after performing a combat roll. B, B, and then X or Y. Okay. So we need to we need to start using combos. We can acquire that one. Shield volley. Striking a shield toss with a shield attack volley. Volleys to shield back at enemies up to three times. Well, I'm intending to play as a two-handed warrior. So let's acquire this one. Which gives us access to this one. Gain precision after a perfect defense. And this one, jump attacks, guarantee critical hits. I like that one. Fire. Which gives us access to this one. Tumbling blades. Okay, yeah, don't need that. We already have this one. We need progress further to unlock. We'll acquire this one as well. Okay, okay, we're going towards Champion Slayer. I think. I think we're. I think we'll want to focus on the left side of the skill tree. Although I don't know what any of these other skills are, but. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Sure. So we leveled up. Content marked with timer will eventually expire. Ooh. So that's the lighthouse. Let us explore a little bit. Oh, this is going to expire. So. Talk. Ah, this Voice. is Neve's face. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You all right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. It's a start. Oh. Hmm.
bad start. Unless you always meet people when something's on fire. Most of the time. It comes with a line of work. <laughs> right. You take mm. a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... Well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. Right, cool. Optionally talk to Harding. Yeah, of course, we're going to talk to Harding. But not right now. Right now... We are going to walk around a little. See what is out here. Dining hall area. Can we fall off the edge? Oh, yeah, yes we can. Don't walk off the edge. <laughs> Don't walk off the edge. Right, dining hall. Notes on a caretaker. This note has a smear of paint on one corner. Have they always been here? There are beings in the crossroads unknown even to the wise, though the most ancient ones make any domain their own. Certainly this caretaker belongs here now. I wonder what we look like to them. Need is a scaffold, and the needs of the living ever rise and fall upon it. Hunger, thirst, sleep. Imagine the constant cacophony to one sensitive to such things. Or am I too simple? Wants are fleeting. Needs have deeper roots. Perhaps that's why I find this particular spirit's presence both comforting and disconcerting. The prospect that our heart's desire and our truest need could differ, or even at odds, is hard to contemplate. Okay. Oh, again, a little stutter. Collect Imperial Weave. Oh, material. I'm guessing crafting is going to be a thing. And this looks like a door. But it isn't. We can go up. It's upstairs. Not much of a dining hall, you know. Oh. Painted pot and 43 gold. Hmm. Okay. There's a table, one chair, and and a, and a couch. <laughs> Can't go there yet. Right, 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 right. Let's see. Let's quicken our step a little. Ah, we have another timed thing here. It wasn't ah, it's to Harding. Go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Hey, girl. Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? I should be asking you that. I got you hurt. This is a dangerous job. Everyone knew that signing on. There's so much to do. We have to keep going. You don't slow down for much, do you? <laughs> you sound just like Varric. And I always said, well, someone's got to keep you on your toes, old man. So that's what I'm here to do. That's what I have to do. We need to get back to the ritual site, don't we? Let's stop worrying about me and go do that. Come get me All when right. you're ready to go. All right.
Gather the team at the library table. Anything else we can do, say, talk about? Your room is a, bit, a little bit bigger than Neve's. Though, you might want to consider getting rid of the spider webs. Reads. Mysterious note. To enter the library passage, three pairings must meet face to face. Wait, what? Three pairings must meet face to face. Pure ore. Ah, there's another one over here. And there's one. Uh, face to face. So I'm guessing there's a face on these somehow. There must be two more. Ah, three pairs must meet face to face. Okay, okay. So where is your counterpart? I'm guessing it's on the other side. Or not? Look at this place. We planned a rebellion here once. Said we'd change the future of the elves, throw off tyrants, and we did. Now the path is out now the path outside is fractured. It'll be hard rekindling all the Illuvians. Solus, if you see this, I'll be looking for you, out in this world and in the mortal one. Don't cause too much trouble before I get there. Okay, cool, cool. Um, what's over here? Workshop. Oh. Ah, look at that. Twenty-one gold. Can I can I enter the workshop or not? Doesn't look like it. Probably too soon in the story for that. This is Nave's place. Blacksmith tools, gold. On divine imperatives? The helm of the solar is destroyed. Elganon's favorite torture is over. Too many agents have been rescued with their minds burned out by that memory of an enraged sun. I feel a lesson here. The helm was not created to torment, but the Evanuris are not as we are. The gods' ruminations carry their own will and imperatives. Memory bleeds into their icons and transmutes them, as fire begets fire. For our wolf lord, who puts so much of himself into his creations, what imperatives do they carry? The heart of a rebellion must remain hidden, yet the light of divinity is uncontainable. We must be swift. A thought lingers, even as he saves us. What does he impart upon us? Reflections by Shiran, one who renounced Dernathal. Right, uh, you, you face that way then. That's the second. One more to go. One more to go. <laughs> and. 
and the other one is going to be over there somewhere. Because there's one there, so there should be one over here somewhere, probably. Oops. More gold. Oh! Oops. Nope, nope. Oops again. <laughs> Maybe from the other way. No. Hmm. Oh. Nope. I thought I could land on that platform. I can't. Um, where is this last one? So we have one here. A bit over there. Maybe on that one somewhere? Ah, no, here it is. Okay, found it. Alright, found it. Back to the start. Oh, don't fall off, girl. Sorry, I've been watching the opening ceremony of Dance Macabre in the Efteling this morning, and now that song is stuck in my head. Okay, I did something. Alright, follow the wisp. Right, not in here. Oh, in here. Music room. Okay, cool, cool. More gold. Memories of a duet. The sheet music left by this instrument appears to be for a duet. It has been annotated by an expert hand. The annotations are accompanied by clear emotional impressions, diligent practice with a rootless eye to mistakes, the relief of private achievement away from well-meant misunderstanding and mindless worship, an unspoken joy in the center of rising perfect echoes. Finally, a beloved memory surfaces, a smiling glance meeting at a crescendo a shared moment of understanding, seeing completely and being wholly seen. The impression fades. Nice. Claudus Crystal, 541 gold, wow. That's much more than we have, we have found so far. Anything else in here? No, that seems like it's a door that will open up at some point. Maybe that was there all along. How about here? No, this one is closed. See? Yeah, we opened it up. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I wanna go and check real quick one more thing. No. No? Okay, okay, cool. Oh. oh, we can read that again. That's cool. Usually in a Dragon Age game, that means that... That means that uh, there will be more on it later. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. We can't go there yet. We've been there. We've been there. We've been there. 
I think we discovered as much as we can right now, so yeah. Gather the team at the library table. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Well, he didn't invade my dream, because dwarves don't dream. But he was in my head. In my head. Solus showed up while I was out cold to gripe about us breaking his ritual. He's mad about us destroying his ritual? Sounded like it. When the ritual went wrong, he ended up trapped in some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Dwarves Except don't dwarves dream. Don't dream remember? Right? We can't. The Fade is the world of dreams, and we're not connected to it. It was weird. Finally. I was standing in a place that I knew couldn't be real. None of it made sense. You're lucky it was just weird. Solus can kill people in dreams. I'm not in danger. He can only barely reach me. I bled a little when I got knocked out. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind? But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. I worked with the Veil Jumpers. We study ancient elven artifacts, and we've learned a lot of the history. The ancient elves were so powerful that their artifacts are still dangerous thousands of years later. And their gods? They might not literally be gods, but I can only imagine how powerful they are. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger, for now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods in prison. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elgernon and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elgernon and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... god running around, we had two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. Without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? Well, I agree with Nave. Let's not rush into this. No, the original plan was to romance Harding. But I'm not feeling it yet at the moment. And I'm, I'm inclined to go with Nave here. If Elgernon and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We'll find out what we're dealing with. And then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Harding, are you okay to go? I'm not gonna sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. I would. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. Yep. I know. I found it. I found it already. 
Alright, find the Alluvian room. Well, I don't need to find it. I know where it is. What's down there? Water? Green mist? Hmm. Gather team. Okay, cool. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. That hat is really stupid. <sighs> Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Maybe you should sit this one out. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. Maybe. Arlesan Forest. Again, a little stutter when changing areas. It's hmm. quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find any... Who is this? Cut it down. I'm trying. It's not working. I can't contain it. Strife? Irulan? What are you doing back in Arlathan? Long story. Isn't it always with you? And did I hear you're going by Rook now? Nev, this is Strife and Irulan. They're veil jumpers like me, experts in elven magic. I worked with them before Harding and Varric recruited me. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? Thought you were supposed to stop him. Or did unforeseen complications lead to unforeseen consequences again? The frame rate isn't great at the moment. I, I think I have an idea which setting is causing this. Will you let it go? Yes, the map was destroyed, but everyone walked out of there alive. I told you to wait. If I'd waited for you to make a copy, people would have died. So you ran off on your own, and now we've lost the only way of navigating back to that site. We lost the work put into it, everything we uncovered, and everything we hadn't. <sighs> Solus's ritual. Can we pause? We can pause cut, cut scenes. Oh. You stopped it? Sorry. This guy's not ripping himself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arlet the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual. But something else got out. Someone else. Supposedly. Elgernon and Gilanane. Mithalanest. Two of the elven gods of old. The Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world... That explains a lot. Yeah, we already know the gods are real. Solus is real, so... So Elgernon and Gilanane are loose, which means what? You thought Solus was bad. 
He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them, let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evaniris, and a reason he imprisoned them. Of all the ancient things to unearth, of course it had to be two of the Evaniris, and of course it had to be you that unearthed them. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Luter. She's the Bellara. best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then mm. you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Bellara. Facial animations are also a little bit off. The the mouth doesn't really sync up to the text spoken. Harding, you're injured. Stay here with the veil jumpers. I can help. I know you want to, but we don't know what we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. Okay. Fine. I'll stay. We'll meet you back at the Vel Jumper Camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. You're welcome. All right. We need to go in and change some settings because that was really hard to watch. Arlathan Forest, Elven Ruins. Never been to this part of Arlathan before. This fog's strange. I've never seen fog like this. Something's not right. Search the area. Um... Kills, map, journal. Uh, in Entropy's Grass, Ballara, a Dalish elf with the Veil Jumpers, has found the team in a Veil Bubble in Arlathan Forest. To escape the bubble, Ballara will need the team's help to, dissolve, to disable an ancient elven artifact and survive the demons and sentinels that stand in the way. No skills available. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just quickly go to settings. All right, hopefully that had a little bit of an impact. Camera movement is re still really sluggish in my opinion. So that suit of armor is moving. Company, get ready. <laughs> Company on the left. Gotcha. Oh, people. No, oh, people. Where'd you come from? Ballara? Ballara Luter? Strife in Ireland sent us to find you. Wait, didn't you used to be a veil jumper? You left with Varric. What was your name? Rook. At least that's the nickname Varric gave me. Nevgalus. Wait, I know that name. But protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. The worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elgernon and Gilanane have escaped Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. I've had a couple of days and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. It does sort of explain a few things, though. 
Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. I think I'd prefer to stay in one piece, yeah. Right, me too. But I think I can find a way out. You think? A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. You well, hope so? Let's get going. All right, yeah. I think I'm gonna turn off ray tracing. All right, we're back. I had to restart the game to apply some of the settings. It looks like it's better now. Uh, I turned the preset down to high instead of ultra and I turned off ray tracing. Still looks pretty good. I also turned off motion blur. Um, normally I don't really mind motion blur, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll turn it back on. Odd to find a camp this far out. There are veil jumper camps all over Arlathin. It's a big forest, and you never know where the magicals start going wild. Okay. The water still looks pretty cool. Silk and glove, a valuable item. Valuables can be sold to vendors. They can also increase the strength of your allies. Uh, Alright. Nothing else over there. Where do we need to go? Uh, oh, we needed to go into the veil bubble, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I had to restart the game for a couple of these settings to take effect. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, Truffle. not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. Is that water just swirling into the air? I've never seen that kind Ooh. of magical anomaly here before. We call it the whirlpool. They're not usually this big, though. Okay, nothing behind the waterfall. Nothing behind that waterfall. to shut down the artifact first. All right, let's go.
more truffle. Always good to have. I think <laughs> we haven't really gotten to crafting yet. Some butterflies. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Ah. And we're back here. Okay, cool. Born handpick. Valuable item. Right. Whoa! Use RB and select the companion's ability. Replenish. Faithful. Icebreaker. Level up! Level up! Okay, level up, level up, level up, level up. Uh, level up, up, up. What's this? Ability. Fury of the Forge. Burning steel blades rain down on your enemies. Wow. Um, Titan Stomp. Area control. Create a shockwave. Okay. Uh, this is a projectile strike. This is an area of effect. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, cool. Cool. But this is uh, okay. Nice, nice. Nice, actually very nice. Any ideas on what the artifact we're looking for might be? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins though. find ruins that haven't been picked clean Most jumpers deft letters afraid to go this deep into arlathan except as fail jumpers with how wild the magic's been here i don't blame them oh what's this magical butterflies and a statue of solus do you know what this place was could have been a temple could have been where they stored food but judging by the sentinels it's probably something important Probably. It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. Why would there be an armory? This well, isn't this a site? Wait. Nice. Is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. Okay. Continue to the temple. All right. A 
Knock. No way across. Think we can make the jump? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. This one? Oh, no, this one. <laughs> okay. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. Ancient elven technology often runs on power crystals that can be transported between locations. And there we go. Easy. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that something? Cool. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. Okay. Do it. Ask Bella to deactivate. Okay. How do I do that? Oh. Ah, okay, Bella Bellara can use this. Use B to dodge. An indicator around your head will flash when there's an incoming melee attack. Dodge or defend to avoid taking damage. There's a problem. Should be clear ahead. Do we heal in between fights? Does not look like it. So that's where we came from, that's where we did this thing. Okay, okay. I'm still taking a lot of damage during fights. I'm still not quite used to it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's do a uh, sword and shield for uh, for a bit. I like the double-handed damage, but the attacks are pretty slow. Continue to the temple, okay? see one there's more nearby all right yeah i'm still 
taking a lot of damage. never gets old. Anything here that can help you piece together what exactly that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Gold and stuff. Everything we don't need. Right, let's see a chest. Fate Touch War Axe. Excellent. Ah, we have a uh, character now. Character, character. Okay. Ah, look at this. All right, we only have one sword, one shield. We do have this, which is 66, 87. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, only have one of those. We don't have any helmet. Uh, nothing for there. Like this. Okay. Right. Oh, oh boy, there are four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those constructs. It means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armor. I think I know what the artifact is. All right, that was better. Yeah, yeah. Still getting used to the combat. I keep saying it, but it keeps being true. Alright, let's go. So if this is an armory, what sort of artifact are we finding? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Ancient elves used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Air card. Cool. Whoa, what the hell? Are those dark spawn? Or at least are they supposed to be dark spawn? Mythalinast. Dark spawn. Believed it until today. All right, cool. That went better. Oh, 
what's the point of being able to destroy these things if there's nothing inside it? Mineral clay, pure ore. All right, where do we need to go? Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. You've got your back. Spawned this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. Could the Elven Gods be commanding the Darkspawn? Solus did say they were blighted. You saw those Darkspawn, though? Something was different about them. Yeah, they we'll were glowing. Them. Once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. They were glowy. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Back up we go. Let's go. Aim the ballista using R and press RT to fire an explosive bolt. Okay, what am I shooting at? More dark spawn, right where you broke that wall. Something is flying around. That was cool. That was cool as hell. It's just like in Origins where you could use the ballistas. Right? Right? I like that. I really, really like that. And I enjoyed that. And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Should Fingers be the last one. Right. Valara. Here we go.
We're close. I can feel it. All right, that went better. No damage in this one. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Where do we need to go? Over here, I think. I think, I think, I think. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. Right, health potions back up to three. Ten gold. Excellent. what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Okay. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodus Durthalin. It means the inevitable Nodus Durthalin. Why is it called that? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. Right. Let's go find out then. More uh -oh. constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. All right, skirmishes round. Common torch. Okay, equip. There it is. Um. Ah. I see it, I see it. We need to use the ballista. Can we get up here? Okay, maybe not. Another one of those power crystals around here somewhere. Yeah, there is. I found it. Cracked scroll. The stench of decay fills the air. The Evnuris now wield power beyond anything I've seen. Their magic is fueled by corruption and death and creeps even now into the stones. We cannot outlast this siege. Huh. 
Flawless crystal. More gold, plenty of gold everywhere. Oh, what the hell is that? Ugh. Ah, all right. That's where we got through. Right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, is this where the ballista is? No. Okay. We prob. Oh, I get it. I get it. All right. Stupid. We need to take this crystal. Bring it to that door. Open the door, go inside. Climb up. R a blight boils can impede progress. Search the area, then expose and destroy their weak points to clear the way forward. Ugh. Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. Yeah, that was that was what I was going to do. Cool, cool, cool. And now that we have broken the wall. We can grab the crystal that is here. Nice. Put that one on this door. I get it. I know video games. And then... This one... Over here. We did it. All that's left is the Nautis Dirthalin. I have so many questions for it. You're going to ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Right, let's go. We have a health potion over here and some things to pick up. Okay, cool. I have a feeling we have made it. Okay, here it is. The Nautis Dirthalin. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh. I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. Nothing's ever easy, is it? So what makes this tricky? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is... Only I half? I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing. I don't like the look I've of that. I've never seen this before. And I certainly Almost don't like, like the look of that. Breathing. Uh oh. Great! An ogre. Ogre! That's an ogre! Ah. 
Ow. Press all L plus R to use your ultimate ability. Whoa, that was a little intense. Expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. You think? Oh. Ooh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, drop it. Why not? Sulana, Vir Sulevana, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. 
Right. Um, I have questions. I am the Nadas to Jafar. What do you... Aww. Where'd he go? Where'd the spirit go? The Nodus Drithalan, I mean. It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken. Ah, until great. I fix it. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. You remind me of Meryl. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight... And the dark spawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. All right. Level four, one skill point. Right. Um. So we did this one. What's this? Physical resistance, yeah, we we can use uh, we can use some resistance. Let's do this one. Companions, companions, your bond with a companion has increased. Press Y to open your companion skill screen to acquire new skills. Oh, nice, Ballara. Two points available. So you can bury your buster, seize the moment, run it back. And faithful. Let's do this one. And this one. Cool. Harding, no skills, Knave, no skills, okay, character, do we have something new here, yeah, this one, but it still looks like the other one, excellent, that is how every game should work. Uncommon longbow for Ballara. Yeah, equip. Yeah, every game should have that uh, transmorg or what it's called. That will let us uh, pick the appearance of a weapon without altering the stats. That is what every single game should have. That is, yeah. Hogwarts Legacy had it. Now Dragon Age: The Veil Guard has it. Ready to go. Let's go. Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Arlesen Forest, the Veil Jumper camp. Whoa. Lots of injured people. Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Ooh, an Aravel. Land ship. Jahel Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Of course we're alive. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. 
We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nodis Dirthalan. Wait, you found the Nodis Dirthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe, but we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know, but maybe if we find them. We find the gods, or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Try not to die. Or make things worse. And Rook. Yeah? Watch your back. Quest complete! In Entropy's grasp, with the team's help, Polara disabled the artifact and freed them from the Veil Bubble. She also uncovered an ancient repository of elven knowledge, the Nadas Dirthalen. While Bellara intends to unlock its secrets, she has joined the team as they search for the escaped elven guards. Could we really be at war with okay, our own we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. We are prepared. You have been acknowledged as a veil jumper ally. Visit the merchant to buy new equipment and appearances. All right. Well, I think that is an excellent point to end this episode. We found a new companion, Bellara. And, yeah, we've done our first big quest, apart from the intro. Next time, we will take a look around the camp here and see what we can find. Uh, but, yeah, for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!